How to import items into a square. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to import some items into your square library. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over squareup.com, sign in for an account and then you are going simply to see here the dashboard. Now, once you have the access to the dashboard, you are going simply right there to set up the items. How we can do that, we are going to head over here at the left side of the screen. And from here, we are going to head over the all product section. We're going to see some item or the menu items from here. We are going to select items and orders. And from there, we are going to click on items. So right there, we are going to have the access to the item library. This is the first thing. So you are going to see here all the products or the items that you have added. You can go ahead and create items like that. And by adding, for example, the type of the item, the name of it, the description, some images of it, location, categories, units, and etc. And uh, here, this is the manual method and how we are going to import some items. It is a simple question and here we have the answer. You're going to click on uh, the actions. Here we have a drop down menu. We have the option to import library, export library, manage the scheduled updates, expand all items. Now, before we are going to import a library, we should know what are going to be the items that we are going to fit in in that specific file. So usually you are going to import or export a XLS file, which is going to be here an Excel file or Microsoft Excel. And also we have the uh, CSV or the comma separated values. So we are going first before importing the Gal library, we are going to understand how we can or how things works on uh, Square. We are going to export the uh, library right there. So we are going to uh, here export all the items. So we are going to have here the file format. So I am going to have, have it as a CSV or an Excel. Uh, it doesn't matter. So we are going to click on export. Now we are going to wait for the dashboard to download that exported file. And from here, we are going to visit Google. Then we are going to visit spreadsheet or Google spreadsheet, Google by Google. Now we are going to enter the Google spreadsheet. We are going to open up here the file. So we are going to normally open the file. I'm going to select here open and from here we are going to upload a file so we are going to drag and drop that file from the downloads here we have it we're going to wait for the spreadsheet to read all of the uh, items that are here so here it is going to be dependent on the platform that the spreadsheet or the csv file is going to be constructed. So, as you can see at the first column or the first column in rows, we're going to see the token, which are going to be here given the codes, the item names, the variation names, SEO codes, descriptions, reporting catalog, SEO title, SEO description, permalink, GTIN or the identification of the product, Square online, as you can see here, item visibility, the item type, the weight, social media links, right there, description. Uh, here we have the shipping enabled, serve serve order enabled or not, the price. We have here the online sale price, for example. It's going to be here the uh, the promotional price and also the uh, non promotional price, saleable, stockable. Uh, here, etc. So, right there, you can go ahead and add. Uh, right, I'm going to add two rows, for example, at the bottom, and here we can add some rows. 
as you can see. So we are going simply to follow up the steps right there to add the product. So you can go ahead and give the product right there uh, the same, for example, token, but we are going to modify here uh, this specific area of the token, GHG, like that. So we are going to see that this is the same token. So we are going basically right there to modify one like that. And there you are going to add the item name. For example, we are going to name it here, uh, watch. Watch like that. So for the, the variation number uh, or name, we are going to give it the same. Here the SKU code, you can go ahead and leave it like this. Description, here we are going to set up here luxury, for example. Watch, for example, like that. Reporting catalog, you can go ahead and have here some reporting catalog, SEO title. I'm going to set up here all of that, copy, paste it in here, description, like that, permalink, we do not have here some permalinks. For the visibility, we are going to make it here visible. And here we are going to copy the physical goods for the item right there. Uh, the uh, weight, we are going to put it here 1.2 is an example boom now we are going to see here the different shipping enabled for example here we are going to copy the uh, same things right there because there are things that we are not necessarily uh, here uh, must learn about them so here we have the price for example we are going to add a 1200 uh now also skip details and none that mean none uh here the current quantity of that watch only 100 and here we have it now we are going simply to delete all of the uh cases here until we see this one here to there i am going simply to delete all of these and I am going to save this file or export it or download it as a CSV again. So I am going right there to download it as a CSV. Wait for the exportation of it. Boom, here we have it. Now we are going to, uh, since we have followed the steps, we're going to import it. So we are going to click on import. We are going to drag and drop the file. Here we have it. So this is it. We are going to click on next. Synchronization of the data. Here we have the item name, watch. Everything is in order. You can go ahead and uh, add or modify some values and etc. I'm going to click on next since we've uh, got an idea on how we can do that. Download, import here, uh, require review. So we're going to import it here anyway so we are going to wait or refresh the page until we see it popping if it doesn't pop it, it doesn't mean anything so we've had some issues so we've made a uh, right there maybe a case that is empty or something like that or we can go ahead and do a review so we are going to import it again and put it next sync uh, one hundred percent complete. Q and fix. So import successfully. Review. I'm going to download and report. See the report. We are going to put it as a CSV also. So that was how we can go ahead and set up an imported file for Square. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content, and hope to see you soon on the next one.